this is the dress that very nearly didn't happen it's um a 1940s style tea dress probably more american in design rather than british because it has turn-ups on the sleeves which in america they had far less restrictions on clothing and we weren't allowed anything unnecessary so we wouldn't be allowed any sort of turn up on the sleeves it has um one pleat which is is really nice let me just see if i can turn this round a bit and you can see a bit better it has one pleat here which is allowed and it has an underarm zip the problems i had with it were actually in fitting it i always always measure accurately i take my measurements every time i'm making a garment i check the garments against the pattern i even made a twirl and i made a twirl just of the bodies and you can see it's got an inset here and the top bodice is gathered and there's, there's no darts and the back is just plain well i made the twirl and everything seemed okay but i only went down as far as here and i didn't put the sleeves in and when i came to sew the dress together i'd left the side seams open i couldn't get it on there's very little room it's, it's a very fitted dress and there's very little room sort of from under the arm across here the zip only starts here so if you've got anything above an a or a b cup actually you, you're not going to get it on and and i couldn't i just couldn't get it over the, the bust area so i had to do quite a lot of alterations to it i had to reduce the darts at the back to practically nothing i had to reduce the side seams um, just I, I had to scoop the sleeves out a little bit more it needed major major operations to get it sorted out and at one stage I nearly threw it in the bin <laughs> so sorry Minerva but um, it's turned out lovely it's, it's beautiful it's cotton poplin cotton would have been widely available in the 1940s and it's got a lovely design on it and actually these these gold bits, they, they do sparkle and shine a little bit. It's, it's a really lovely fabric. It's very, very wearable as a day dress, which is what is intended. Slightly longer than what I would normally wear, so it's just below my knee. But because it's got short sleeves and it's a slim style, it doesn't swamp me. I find that anything with long sleeves, that's anything longer than just below my knee, just doesn't work for me. I've also got some skin exposed here, so... Um, it, it doesn't overwhelm me because I am I'm quite petite. I'm only size 10, 12, um, 5 foot 4. So I'm not very big. So all's well that ends well. It took me a heck of a lot of time to make this dress. And as I say, I, I shoved it in the cupboard for a week and I very, very nearly binned it. So in the end, I think it's worth the effort because I will wear it. So I hope you like it and I shall go back to my nice cup of tea in my 1940s dress and see you again very very soon bye